Shalom, I'm John Carney Roth, and this is... Anthony Hill. And you are watching Through the Eyes of an Elder. This is a discussion that we do on our broadcast where we talk about different subjects, Anthony. Yes. That sometimes they're not too controversial, but sometimes very controversial, uh, depending on what side of the fence that you're on. <laughs> but uh, today is going to be a controversial subject. And I'm sure it's going to rustle some feathers of some people. And uh, as you're going to see in some of the texts that we bring out today, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Uh, we're supposed to cause jealousy and rivalry to incite people to action one way or the other. And uh, hopefully you come on the right side of the fence. So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to start with some opening comments and so, Anthony, I'll ask you if, you know, what you would like to start off with his opening comments on this subject, because today we're going to be talking about the letter of the law. How far do you go before it kills you? And I think what you're going to find out, this thing, this knife cuts in a couple different directions. Oh, yes. It don't just cut one way. It cuts in different directions. So I'm going to give you the floor to go ahead with this. Oh, yes. I, I, I don't know. Uh, lately, it's been a pushing within me you know, to push me and I'm, I'm really walking in faith, not knowing, but just following where I feel that the Ruach is leading me. And uh, I can't just nail it down right now. What is the end of this thing? But I know this is the beginning of a, of a set of instructions, I believe that he's inspired and he's building within me but it's on a journey you know through the world of repentance you know i'm i vision in my mind just walking in the midst of a world that's just in total chaos and mm -hmm. they're just looking they're looking for the right way i i remember um in one of the prophets when he was commanded to run back and forth through the streets of Jerusalem and see if there's just one person mm. that's seeking out the righteousness. And I feel that yearning in me. Is it anybody mm. that's seeking out the righteousness? And then would you allow the word of Yahweh to lead you to that righteousness? And that, that's the openness statement that I, I think he's leading me to make that we're on a journey of faith I think in order to just surmise it all up we're on a journey of walking by faith and not by sight yeah interesting way to look at that uh, I've been in this a long time and I always thought I was walking by faith and I'm not mm -hmm. gonna say that I wasn't I was walking by faith right but you brought up something in your statement about, you know, we're kind of like we're in a world right now where everything is just chaos and confusion. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people that don't know what's happening to them. And I hope today that as we go through these scriptures, yes. that people are not only going to get a much better understanding of how to interpret the scriptures we're going to bring out. And man, we could just sit here for 10 hours doing this thing, but my <laughs> cameras aren't going to handle that much memory to record that much. So we, we may have to come back and visit this in a couple of more um, uh, discussions and continue this on a little bit, but we'll see how this one goes. Yes. But I want to get back to what I was saying is, is that there's a lot of disillusionment going on there. And, you know, and the scriptures talk about how Yahweh will send a strong delusion that people will believe the lie. And man, I just had so many scriptures I wanted to bring up and I just had to keep crunching it down and crunching it down because it's just going to take up too much time. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's kind of hard to do this kind of a subject, a lot of justice when you've got to limit yourself. But I think we're going to get through this today pretty good because mm -hmm. you're going to find out just how technical the scriptures that we have is and how it applies to believers and unbelievers alike. Right. And um, I think... For me, and I think you'll agree with me, is that some of the genesis of today's topic that we're going to get into is a result of Gentiles taking up issue with us on how we should not be keeping the commandments or the Torah and, and all that kind of stuff. 
And if this don't turn your head upside down, and it doesn't turn your belief structure upside down, <laughs> then it's not your time or it ain't going to help for you. Right. Uh, but I, but they're going to find today that we're going to go through some really, really tough stuff. So like the last time, you know, you brought up some scriptures mm -hmm. and I've got some that I'll go through towards the end. And we're going to go ahead and let's get into this thing and let's get this thing started. 